Charlton. Many, many years before I was born, Charlton was the ground for an old Victorian psychiatric hospital, which has long since closed down. Most of it knocked down and built upon, but up until very recently there was this old disused cemetery, and in that cemetery was a woman buried there. On her stone it read, Here lays Eliza Holt. Now in her day, if you felt pregnant at an early age or out of wedlock, you would often be incarcerated into a place like this where you and your child would live out the rest of your days. And we did a bit of digging around, not literally. <laughs> we soon found out that we think that happened to her. Anyway, years on, they did indeed do a bit of digging around. And I had gone away for a little while, came back, and they had decided to exhume all of the bodies. And the council decided that this old disused cemetery would make the prime spot for a cosy little cul-de-sac. So not only had all these houses been popped up, there were people already living in the houses. So I was then, and I'm now still today, naturally convinced every house down that lovely little street is haunted. <laughs> <coughs> and I liked the idea that Eliza Holt was singing the children their lullabies. And I thought, well, if that's not a good idea for a folk rock ballad, I don't bloody know what it is. <laughs> Here she lay, Eliza Holt. Frozen in a tomb Generations did before Till they run out of room If they could offer up the truth Stories they could tell About how the chimes of freedom Became the gates of hell Late at night they took her there to show fed on well and kept us strong as they began to grow and on the day they tended her mopped her fevered brow they wrenched the infant from her arms wrapped up in its gown Searching 
soul and the lies of hope sings a lullaby.